I'm on day two of a four-day trip here in Algonquin Park, and I'm deep in the backcountry. And I thought it'd be a good time to turn on the camera because I just landed my first brookie. I'm heading into an area that I've never been to before, and I landed this beautiful fish. Beautifully. Ooh. Don't want to let you. Very feisty this time of year. Beautiful. Colors on that fish. All right, let's let it go. Can you see that? I think so. There we go. I have gorgeous weather right now. It's so warm for early May. A little bit of a headwind right now. Feels good to be finally out on a canoe trip. It's the first one of the season. And I think it's supposed to be pretty nice for the entire trip. Pretty late yesterday. It was early evening when I got, finally got on the water and got to camp just before dark. It seems like so far I've just had a headwind. My progress has been slow. Oh, we got three otters in front of me. I decided to double carry on this portage just because it was a short one. But there's a nice rapid here, so I might head down and uh, it looks like there's a little pool and try to see if there's any small brook trout. Well, there we go. First moose of the spring. Nice bull. Looking a little bit uh, disheveled after the winter, but that's to be expected. And now they get to look forward to getting eaten alive. There's quite a few black flies on that last section. They're not really biting yet though. Maybe by the end of this trip. Something clearly had a feast here. All this white hair. Huh. I wonder what it is. This has been uh, a lot of work. And those portages have been rough. But that's to be expected. First trip of the year. You're definitely not in shape. You have to take more breaks from the portages. So an update, I just had a huge bite. I thought I'd snagged at first, but then I realized it was a fish and got a few reels in and then it came off. So yeah, just on a bronze Williams wobbler.
Good morning. Sorry I didn't film too much last night. I got back to camp and I just realized I was exhausted. Just went to bed pretty early. And yeah, woke up to another beautiful morning. Gorgeous out. I'm staying at this campsite for another night tonight, so I don't have to actually move today. But I'm planning to do a lot of day tripping. I want to go into at least two other lakes that are close by and try to find some more brook trout. I didn't have any luck last night, but uh, yeah, I'm hopeful for today and what these new lakes will bring. It's gorgeous, gorgeous day. Lakes all around me. Let's get up, make some breakfast, and get on with this day. I was just coming out of camp and I got one. Nice. I was actually just turning on the camera. I caught it. Oh yeah, it looks like a brook trout. It's actually a good size. Yes! There you go, buddy. Chill out. Relax a bit. Gorgeous fish. Bigger than my first one yesterday. Floating in here to shore. Yeah, look at this guy. It's fat. Really fat. Oh, don't get out, buddy. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's gorgeous size. Beautiful brook trout. This is what I came here for. I got skunked here last night, but sure enough, they just shut down and I got this beauty. Gorgeous. Let's get it back in the water. You're a big one. I don't want you to waste away. Look at this. It's the length of my entire forearm. Just past my elbow. Caught that on this EGB spoon. Bronze and silver, red dots. Wow, what a spirit booster. I'm on the portage, about a kilometer. The trout lilies are starting to come out. coming out of the southwest. I'm gonna paddle up around this corner and then get my line out. Keep on fishing. Feels good to be on the water. Oh, it's a bass. Out of season bass. All right, I'll get this one off and let go real quick. Small mouth. Let it go. I've had it with this lake. That was my, well, I might've had one more bite, but yeah. 
a bass. That's not a good sign for brook trout whenever I find bass in a lake. So I'm gonna head back and explore some other lakes. I've made it to this new lake. I took an unofficial route in here, going up a creek, which wasn't very easy. And there's quite a few more bugs on it, but I'm here. So I'm just gonna work this lake, see if I can find some fish. It's starting to uh, kind of cloud over, which I think is a good sign. Might be a system moving in, but might trigger some action. And it's not quite as hot as yesterday afternoon. I've made it to my third lake of the day. We're approaching dinner time and I haven't really ate lunch yet. Just been snacking a lot. Before I start fishing here, I'm going to make up some bagels with uh, salami and mustard sandwiches. I need some calories, that's for sure. Some slimy cheese. Most definitely gonna spill this. All right. Mm. Oh, that's so good. I'm so hungry. All right, I'm back on my home lake and right around where I got the one this morning, I hooked another. This one feels much bigger. I think I know where they are on this lake now. Oh, this feels good. For a second I thought I had snagged. But then it started pulling back. This feels heavy. Is that a branch? I think it's a fish. No, it's a fish. I had a lot of line out, getting my lure a little bit deeper. I shouldn't have wasted my time with those other lakes. But I didn't know, this is my first time here. What is it? It's looking like a brook trout. Very big, huge. Oh, there you go. Makes it easier and I feel a lot better. Oh, look at that fish. Oh, it's a fatty. Oh, look at that. That's what I came here for. Straight down. been a good day on the water. Even though I didn't move camp, I was paddling and moving all day, just exploring this area. I paddled into camp just as the sun was going down behind the trees, and immediately a cool breeze blew in, and the bugs seemed to let up, and since then, they've all but disappeared. 
seems like, which is great. I can hear that barred owl that was going off last night. It's getting going again. It's a very peaceful night. Alrighty, so I'm just using the bush buddy instead of actually getting a fire going because, well, the bush buddy's a lot less work. With the bush buddy, I can literally just reach around and uh, find twigs around the campsite. The timer just went off for the pad thai, so it means it's ready. It sat 15 minutes, stirring once in between. And the last thing to put in is the peanuts. Yeah, it adds a little bit of spice. It's good. morning another beautiful morning here in Algonquin Park I'm all packed up just about to leave the campsite feeling a little bit sore today but I'm just enjoying being out here feels good to be canoeing again all right I got one around 5 p.m. What is it? Is it a lake trout or brook trout? Can't see it. Might be a lake trout. Yeah, looks like a lake trout. Come here. Nice. Nice lake trout. Did you come out? No? I don't want to get out my forceps. Sore locks. It's barbless, so it should come out easy. There we go. Little lake trout. Beauty. Beautiful. Eh? Let's let you go. There you go. Swim back down to wherever you came from. I finished my trip. Paige was kind and picked me up. Thank you, Paige. You're welcome. It was nice to explore a new area and catch some big brook trout. And uh, yeah, some other fish too. I caught a couple lake trout today. Got one of them on video. The other one I thought I had my GoPro on, but I didn't actually hit the record button, but that's okay. It was fun times, very hot weather. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next adventure.